My name is Allison Su. I'm a faculty here at the UCSF Diabetes Center. Um, research in my lab is trying to understand the biology uh, behind a major health problem, obesity. Uh, the world's getting heavier. According to the most recent NHANES survey, about 40% of the adults in the United States are obese, an all-time high. Alarmingly, a record number of children are also getting obese. So the question is, why is it so easy to gain weight? And also conversely, why is it so difficult to lose weight? Now the answers to those questions lie in our brain. Throughout evolution, in an environment where food is often limited, our brain programs us to be metabolically efficient. So when there's nothing to eat, our brain make us to feel very hungry, so go find food, and also make us to conserve energy, so by decreasing energy expenditure. Our brain also prepares us to cope with future food shortage or famine, and by doing so, basically uh, make us to overconsume energy-dense food so we can store the extra calories as fat. So in my lab, we are driven to understand the, uh, the gene environment interaction and how it controls uh, uh, diverse metabolic processes. We like to understand how the brain sends uh, circulating metabolic signals and also how it control feeding, energy expenditure, glucose and lipid metabolism. We focus on a group of neurons in the middle basal hypothalamus called HRP neurons. These neurons express a unique neuropeptide called a goody related protein, HRP, and also express another neuropeptide called MPY, and also the classical neurotransmitter, GABA. So we found that these neurons are very unique among hypothalamic neurons uh, because two-thirds of these neurons are located outside the brain barrier, making them ideal cell types to send circulating metabolic signals. Now, when we don't have anything to eat, like during fasting, uh, these neurons are really activated. Now, that is a signal, you know, so tell us now we need to go and find food, so by increasing appetite. Research in our lab also find that, you know, other dietary conditions, such as like a complete uh, cholesterol deficiency, also can act as a signal to the brain as a state of relative energy deficiency. So in that case, uh, removal of the dietary cholesterol lead to upregulation and selective upregulation HRP in the hypothalamus, and together with alter function of a downstream effector of HRP, and this protein is called ASB4, and together they lead to change your food seeking behavior. Uh, and also change your food choice. So now you would like to eat more fat uh, at the expense of carbohydrates. So together, HRP neurons, by sitting outside of a brain barrier, constantly monitors the body's nutritional and energy status and to make sure uh, to have adequate supply of energy by regulating diverse metabolic processes. So ultimately, by trying to understand how the brain work, we hope to come up with effective uh, uh, treatments for obesity and diabetes, and also maybe to prevent the development of this disease altogether.